Welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm making spaghetti made with meat sauce that has chopped onions, green bell peppers, a couple of cloves of garlic, and some spices. How do you prefer your spaghetti? Do you like your spaghetti combined together with the sauce? Or do you prefer your sauce on top of your spaghetti? In this video, I'm gonna show you both ways of doing that. So let's get started. Here are all the ingredients that I'll be using for this recipe. I have two small cans of tomato paste, two small jars of Prego meat flavored sauce. I have some Lowry seasoning salt, some Italian seasoning salt and pepper. I also have an onion and I'll be using some garlic cloves and just a small piece of green bell pepper. Over here I have my water boiling already and to that water I'll be adding one box of spaghetti. But before I put my spaghetti in, I will be adding one tablespoon of salt so that my pasta will have a little bit of seasoning in it already when it's boiled. So once you get your spaghetti in here, you want to come back and stir this every two or three minutes just to make sure that it doesn't stick together. In this pot, I'll be browning off my ground beef, and this is 85% lean, and I have two pounds of it. So what you're gonna do is get this in the pot, and just try to break it down as best as you could with a spatula or a spoon. Chop it up to nice sized chunks so that you have a few chunks in your spaghetti. Now this will simmer for about 15 minutes or so on a medium temperature. As soon as your meat is three quarters of the way done, it's time to add in your spices. After you get these spices in, all you need to do is give it a nice stir and try to inc incorporate all of your seasonings. And then you wanna let this sit and cook for about 15 more minutes. That way your meat will tenderize and it will make for a much better sauce. Now when adding in your vegetables, you can chop them up and put them in with your meat while it's browning. Or like I do here, it's much easier to just blend them out. So I'll put my onion, garlic, and my green pepper along with one cup of water into my Ninja blender. And I'm just gonna blend all these up together and this will go right into the pot with my meat while it's browning. Now this doesn't have to cook very long, but you do want your vegetables to start to soften up a little bit. Even though it's blended up, the onions and peppers are still raw. So you just wanna let this come up to temperature and simmer for about five to seven minutes or so. Okay, now that everything is well combined, it's time to add our tomato paste. I have two small cans of tomato paste and they have garlic, basil, and oregano already in the tomato paste. I prefer to buy it that way because it just adds extra flavor to your sauce. Okay, so once you get all of your tomato paste put into the meat, then you just wanna take your spatula or a spoon and stir it up really good. You wanna make sure your paste is well incorporated into your ground meat. After this, you're gonna add a cup of water just so that you can loosen up that paste and then you're gonna allow it to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. That way the spices from the meat will start to come through to the tomato paste. Okay, now that that is simmered for about 15 minutes, it's time to add our sauce. Now I'm using Prego meat flavored sauce, but you can choose to use any brand of sauce that you prefer. I have two small jars and that's only because they didn't have any large jars. Otherwise I would have bought one jar. So just pour your sauce right on into the pot and combine it well with the ground beef and the tomato paste. Now most of your seasoning is in the ground beef. So therefore you will need to let this simmer 
for about 20 to 25 minutes so that you can then taste your sauce and know if you need anything else added into it. Now, if your household is anything like mine, you have some picky eaters. Some people want their spaghetti mixed with the sauce and some want it separate. So over here, I've separated a good portion of sauce into this small pot so that it can cook down and thicken up and I'll be putting that over top of some spaghetti. While that's simmering, I'm going to go ahead and get this other pot going. What I'm going to do is just add the spaghetti into the sauce, give it a really good stir, combine it very well, and then it will sit here and simmer a total of maybe 25 minutes or so. Now in between that, I'll come back and forth every five minutes to turn the spaghetti. And what I mean by that is just stick your spatula up underneath and you wanna just fold it on top of each other over and over again. Now you may be saying that that looks like a whole lot of sauce, but it really is not too much sauce because your spaghetti is going to absorb a lot of that sauce, which is really gonna make for a really good tasty spaghetti. So just trust me, this is not too much sauce. Just keep letting it cook, and what's gonna happen is the moisture is gonna cook out. And as you see right here, it has thickened up, and a lot of that water has evaporated, which has caused that sauce to really thicken up and have a really rich flavor. Now as for the other sauce, it has thickened up very well, and it is now ready to go over top of my spaghetti. This recipe is a very quick and easy recipe to make, and it took a little bit over an hour to complete. So whether you like your spaghetti combined together with your sauce, or you rather your sauce on top of your spaghetti, this recipe will do the job either way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.